Welcome back. Good news. The Coral Gables Art Cinema just received a grant from the prestigious Knight Foundation. The grant will enhance the cinema's programming. And joining us to talk about the award is Robert Rosenberg. He's the director of the Coral Gables Art Cinema. Thank you so much, Robert, for being here. And congratulations. Thank you so much. So tell me about this, uh, this whole grant that you got. It's a matching grant. Right. Well, we, we got this grant from the Knight Foundation Arts Challenge right. program. And that's different because they do have other grants yes. that they offer. But the Arts Challenge, they've put millions of dollars into it in the last four years, is a competitive program where they call for the community to submit proposals. They get over a thousand a year. They whittle them down to this case, 30 plus final, you know, grants that they give out. And it, it's competitive. It's very, very competitive. So that's very exciting to me to be chosen from among a thousand plus proposals exactly. that we're one of them. So why, um, what's the criteria when you were submitting for this um, arts challenge, arts related, but what specific were they looking for? They're, they're looking for programs that um, speak to the community, that do something hopefully new in terms of the arts. And obviously in terms of us, I think they're also looking for organizations that have proven to some extent that they're capable of doing what they say they're going to do. And I think for us, that's one, really one of the biggest criteria is that in two years, we've only been open two years yes. in downtown Gables, that we've really achieved such prominence and such a great re reputation. We've applied for four years since before we opened and after we opened, and now we finally got the This grant. is the first time you get the grant yeah. through the Knight Foundation. Exactly. That's great. So what, what are you going to do with this grant? Tell me about the programming that is going to go in place as a result. Well, definitely. We're, we're getting $150,000 from the foundation over three years, which we match, mm -hmm. so it's actually $100,000 a year. And it's the general grant is to enhance and improve and deepen our programming, what we do. We've selected two tracks for what we're, how we're going to spend the money to really focus. One is to develop a children's film festival for South Florida in partnership with the New York Children's Film Festival, which is the biggest one in the country. So we're going to present it together and build on their programming, what they do, to have a really international scope, high-end, brand new sets of films that we'll bring in for a three to four day kind of weekend in 2013. I don't want to say the date yet because we right. haven't quite said that. The second thing we're doing, the second track, which I'm calling tentatively Filmmaking Under the Sun, mm -hmm. is going to be a series of initiatives designed to support local filmmakers at all levels, from high school, university, and the community, by bringing in film artists from around the world to South Florida for residencies where they'll show films at the theater for the public and they'll have master classes. But tracking in towards the end of the three-year cycle to developing at least one feature film project that we're really going to do in partnership with the filmmakers in Miami. We're very excited about wow, that. Wow, okay. So going back to the Children's Film Festival, would, be th would this be one of the... Um, is this, you do have a children's component right now, right. A, a younger audience right. component. We already have Family Day, pro right. we, we do a Family <coughs> Day on Aragon in partnership with the Coral Gables Museum and Books right. and Books who are all on the same block of Aragon Avenue once a month on the second Saturday. So we always show a movie at 11 o'clock, whether it's a classic film or a new film for children of different ages. And we've also done additional screenings as well. Plus, in the summertime, two years in a row, we've done a teen-oriented uh, train, like a summer camp for, fil for filmmaking for teens yes. in partnership with the Florida Film Institute. So we've been deepening our connections to parents and children and teens in the community, and this is a natural next step for us is to develop a signature program, a signature festival like this for South Florida. It broadens your audience uh, as well. I mean, um, instead of just once a month, I think it is that you do it. Right, It's a great much. opportunity for, see to, for, for to get children excited about uh, films early on. Absolutely, and it's really just a first step. We'd yeah. love to expand. We've done the teen summer film camp. We'd love to do uh, film programs intensives on holidays for younger children. So we have a sort of medium term game plan, but of course everything takes money and we yes. have to raise money to uh, even to complete this project as well. 
So this idea was going to happen regardless, right? It's just this is great to have this. The Children's Film Festival, we really were already committed to. We were going to raise the money by hook or by crook and try to do it in 2013. Though this is perfect timing yeah. that we've gotten this grant. The filmmaking under the sun components is building on things we've already done. We've brought in filmmakers, but usually for three or four days. Mm -hmm. The idea is to expand the time they stay here and be able to pay them an honorarium when they're coming in up until now, they're promoting only one film. They do a day or two of, of media you know, appointments and they do the opening night, maybe a panel discussion. So the idea is to expand that. And as we expand that, then we can deepen what we're doing with filmmakers in the community as well. Okay. So it's building on what we're, we have. And, and what do you think this is gonna mean moving forward from now to have this prestigious grant? Uh, awarded to you for for the cinema. What is We're, this going to be? Well, you know, it's 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 both the money because the money is very important mm -hmm. in this day and age, but it's also kind of a seal of approval. It says this is a serious arts organization. It's a successful arts organization, and having been around only two years in terms of being open, that's a big deal. It's a big deal for people who might want to open up their pocketbooks and their wallets and say, well, if the Knight Foundation funded them, I'll fund them. And also, of course, you get the one to one match at the moment where you double. Uh, your money. I also think right now we've been primarily a movie theater, an alternative movie theater, a cool movie theater, yeah. that's all true. And we're trying to develop a little bit more our, our reputation as a film arts center where educational activities, now film production is going on around that core identity, which is the screen that we have in the wonderful theater, so that we get a reputation as a nonprofit film arts center with all kinds of ideas about expanding in the future our footprint in Coral Gables. Yeah, well congratulations to you, great programming, and now you're gonna have such a wonderful component having these two, um, two programs that you're gonna add, and obviously any funding that you get is great for residents because we see the benefits from it. So it's, it's a win-win situation. Absolutely. And if you want more information on the new programming or to see what's playing at the cinema, you can always visit their website. It's gablescinema.com. And you can find more information on the Knight Foundation by visiting knightfoundation.org.